All right, we are now on Refind. I've been playing around with all the settings. So Refind is the third way to change, well, the bootloader, but also change the kernel. So let's have a look what I've done until now. With this one, this is not normal. Normally it's F2 and you can see the lines. Now it's not F2 and they're just next to each other. So that's something I've changed inside the refined.conf. And I've also set Linux Zen to be the default. So if we reboot and I show you, then you see the little triangle is to the right, which is Linux Zen. So the video is about those two changes, basically. We've done that in Grub as well, so that they're next to each other. And system boot, it's fine. They are next to each other. And here is how it's done. So you boot up. And just like we've done in system boot, we need to be in control. What do I mean by that? There is security, right? Boot EFI has a big X here, so no can do. I can click all I want, but permission denied. Okay, fine. We need to go to edit the files anyway. So let's have a look at SU. Same procedure as on systemd boot. Easy to remember. Become root. This is a user. And a hashtag is a right your root cd boot have a look around there's refined linux so nano refined linux this is information how to boot fine nothing to do here then you say okay let's have a look around inside efi ls all right efi ls sure cd refined ls refined.conf that's the one we need what did i change to get to this situation well let's make this bigger and then maybe also if we can yeah the font well and then page down there is a whole website I'm not sure if i can find it immediately um but surely the arch wiki will point to it and that's all about refined, right? Refined Linux. Let's see if we can get something like that. The rotsbooks.com. Installing and uninstalling refined. I read. That's what you should do. You read. And also, of course, the manuals on your system. And one of the things I noticed is that let's look for the white things. This is something we did, 481. We told Refine those are the kernels. So if you have other kernels, add them to the list. And here's the choice. Default selection, it used to be like this. I think it says zero or something, a numbering in here. So there are many things you can set. It's amazing what you can do. Um, it's just gonna look for parts of words and all that, it's, it's great. So I've typed VMS VM Linux Linux Zen as the default. I'm gonna set them. This was well, like I said, it was zero or one by default. I will say this. He'll know I want the VM Linux Linux, not the Zen kernel anymore as default. That's one. And then it's something with folding, 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 folding. Here's our team, by the way, at the end seven three three. Arco refine specs thing. Um, fold, 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 fold. Here it is. So this was not active. By default, it means you have to press F2 to go to the other kernels. If you see them, want to see them next to each other, there's a lot of text, right? Read, read. And then, okay. Control X. So the only change I've made is say, Hey, I no longer want to use the Zen kernel as a default. I want to use the Linux kernel as default, right? Reboot. And then see where little triangle is. Little triangle is to the left. Means it's going to boot in VM Linux Linux rather than the right, which is the Zen. Enter. 
and off we go and that's the last video so if you want to check out grub or system deboot that's in the numbering a few numbers well one number or two numbers previous than this video all right cheers